Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 7, lesson 9, this is the last lesson for chapter 7. Graph patterns, page number is 531. Okay, in this lesson we'll make the graph patterns like if you see this example 1. Teresia and her friends decided to rent bicycles to ride on their weekend trip. Bikes and more. This is a company name. Bikes and more. Charges five dollars for each hour. Okay. If they're charging five dollars for each hour for one hour, so ten dollars for two hours, fifteen for three, and twenty for four. And there's another company, Adventure Bikes. They're charging ten dollars for each hour. So 20 and 30 and 40 like that. And then we make the X and Y the ordered pairs. Like in this one, the first line represent the X axis and this one Y axis. So 1 and 5, X and Y, 1 and 5. Similarly here, first one X, second one y 1 and 10 1 and 10 got it guys so this is how we make the ordered pairs how much more would it cost to rent bicycle for three hours from adventure bike than from bikes and more so for three hours if you see they are charging 15 dollars and they are charging 30 dollars so 15 dollars more they are charging 15 dollars more 15 dollars more okay now we will represent this data on the graph on the next page. So you will remember 1 for 5. See this guys on the next page. Here we put the x axis is 1 and y is 5 is the first dot. Then the second one here 2 for 10, 2x and 10y here. 2x and 10y, then 3x, 15y, and 4x, 20y. Now, similarly, this is for bikes and more. And then you will join these dots. So, this graph is for bikes and more. And for adventure bike, for $1, they're costing, they're charging $10 for one hour. For two hours, 20 for 3 hours 30 and for 4 hours 40 so you will join these dots to make the graph for adventure bike and the graph shows that the distance and cost between the two stores increases it is increasing okay now down here again bird seed is sold in 8 pounds bag and 24 pounds bag so this is the table for 8 pounds bag and this one for 24 pounds bag in this one, each bag have 8 pounds. So 2 bags, 16, 3, 24, 4, 32. 8 times 2, 3, and 4. And here, each bag have 24 pounds. So 2 bags, 48, and 72, and 96, like that. And you know that the first line for x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, x. And the second one for y-axis. This is how you make the ordered pairs. And how many more pounds of bird seeds would there be if you purchase two bags of 24 pounds and two bags of 8 pounds? So if you see in two bags of 8 pounds, you have 16 pounds. And here you have 48 pounds. So you will minus them to find the difference. 48 minus 16, 32 pounds. Similarly, guys, here you will solve these two questions in independent practice. First you will make the table, then you will represent this data on the graph. Okay. And then you will join these dots to make the line. This line is for the speedy gap and this line for the purple gap. Here. Jennifer and Karen. Jennifer is 
earning nine dollars per hour and Kermin is earning three dollars per hour so the first one x-axis second one y-axis one and nine so one and nine this is for general this line and this line for Kermin okay and for three hours, how much more Jennifer earns? Uh, Kerman earned three, uh, nine dollars for three hours and 27, so 27 minus nine, 18 dollars. Similarly here guys, Jason places books in his book bag to take home. Each book weighs two pounds. So his each book weighs two pounds. So one book, two pounds. Two books, four pounds, three books, six pounds, and four books, eight pounds. So this one is for Jason. And for Mason, each book weighs three pounds. So one book, three pounds, two books, three and three, six pounds, three books, nine pounds, and four books, twelve pounds. So this is for Mason, you can draw a table here guys for Jason and for Mason like this for Mason and for Jason one two three four one two three four and then you can put the values like they're saying that for Jason one book is of two pounds, two books, four pounds, three books, six and eight. For Mason, each book is weighing three pounds, so three, six, nine, and twelve. And then we represent the data. Write a real world problem for which so here I write a real world problem. I solve it, solve this problem, and uh, try to understand it. How are graphs used to represent patterns? Patterns can be used to generate ordered pairs, which I can graph on a coordinate plane. The graph allows me to visually compare different patterns. I really hope you guys understand the lesson. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much guys, have a nice day.